is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today we are showcasing the mdt hell's gate pick fed stage ladies and gentlemen we have pretty much constructed it completely i think it's uh, if it's not done it's literally 90 percent done it's pretty much done we've done all the detailing you guys saw in that last video that la i think it was a couple weeks ago or so and uh, we have uh, pretty much completed all of the painting we do have some other details that i might add later on but we we do we've got some stuff done ladies and gentlemen look at what we have right here look at how this turned out if you guys remember what it looked like it used to be the pink insulation foam you guys can see what it has come out like you see the lava running through the cracks in the floor you have the big hell's gate stage right there the big old hell's gate door or the hell's gates i should say big mdt on there we are going to get a zoom in so you guys can see all the details i think in that video we did show how tall it was and you can kind of see it here compared to the elite champion kenny omega and the mdt champion roman reigns who will be defending their championships inside the Elimination Chamber at Hell's Gate. We're going to have two chamber matches, one to start the night, one to end the night. And I'm freaking hyped, man. I'm ready to go. I got my ring skirt. I got my ring ropes. My stage is complete. We just have to assemble the arena. And obviously, once MDT Live Episode 15 is posted, after that, we will do a Hell's Gate preview where we break down the match card and we go through every single match. We'll also do an arena tour where we break down the entire arena, showcasing everything all together, the ring, the ropes, the skirt, the stage, the arena, all of it together and you guys know we always do that so once ndt live 15 is posted and after i do my hell's gate you know preview where we break down the match card and review everything then i'm going to ask you guys yes you to make your own predictions videos and breaking down and analyze everything and letting me know who you think is going to win what your personal thoughts are on each feud and everything like that but before we get there guys we do have this stage and i do want to break it down there's also two more little sections that go on either side on that side and on this side that we'll get into. Again, there's not enough room right here, man. I need to freaking clear out some space. I should have done this ish in the kitchen or something so I could show it off better, but we'll get into all that. I guess what we can show first, guys, is the base right here, and you guys will see. I don't know if you guys remember what it looked like, but it was just solid pink. What it was is this, this is exactly how it started. You guys remember, if you don't, well, it started off as one big piece. This piece right here started as one big piece of pink insulation foam board. I used an X-Acto knife and you know carve some carve some details in there i carved these cracks in here if you guys can get in here and see these are legitimate cracks like you can stick your finger down in there like that is a little you know crack that i wanted to have and i don't know if you guys remember the concept drawing that we had from last time i still have that concept drawing somewhere i'm gonna have to find that so we can compare it to how it completely turned out but all of this this entire stage is made out of this pink insulation foam board that you can get a hobby that you can get at Home Depot. They come in big 24 by 24 boards. I cut them up. You know, I made gate shapes. I made my platform. I made my side rocks here. I have some other things I did. I made, I custom made this lava, painted it up, sealed it up with some, you know, some bright Mod Podge, some gloss Mod Podge to give it the sheer look so it looks like it's glowing and everything. And I really love the way the cracks turned out, man. And the dry brushing techniques and all of the paintwork to this base is very, very nice. I am very happy. This, These parts are removable. You have your side shots right here. You can see all the details that go into these rocks. Again, just chipping away at that and the cracks and everything make it look really natural. All the dry brushing, again, all the different layers. Love that we got this pentagram in the middle for Hell's Gate. Zooming in on this right here, uh, the, the MDT is coming out a little bit lighter than it actually is in person. I also thought about coloring in these nails on the things, maybe in black or silver. I'm not exactly sure yet, but you can see all of the details inside the gates and everything like that. The gates are operational, and uh, you know we will be opening that up. This is where the superstars will obviously come out. We're not going to have them just come out like this. If we move the Elite Champion, move the MDT Champion, uh, you guys will see here that all we have to do is swing this, uh, or this door, I'm sorry. You swing this door open and it'll swing open like that and the superstars will walk through right here. I'm still probably going to add some right there. I don't like it being black back there. I'll probably add like some rock texture and stuff. That way it adds to it similar to this right here. And we'll have that again. This is magnetized, so it magnetized in place so you ain't got to worry about it falling over like Kenny Omega just did. But yeah, the door will be able to open. We'll have, you know, we got the MDT right here. Obviously, uh, there are 
there's like these short nails that I plugged in here that, you know, if I want to shut it, I can shove that through there, but I'm not probably going to do that. I want to have it open so, you know, the guys can come through. Again, I'm so psyched with the way the floor came out. The lava and everything looked really, really good. I'm going to grab one of these side panels that are going to go on either stage. Again, on the other side of these little rock panels, we're going to have these other uh, little things that have lava flowing through it and they have rocks on either side that I want to show off right quick. So this is what this looks like and you guys can see the lava and everything like that. All of this is custom painted and then of course did the gloss Mod Podge to tie it all together and that is what it looked like. I don't know if I showed you guys what it looked like before I painted it but this is the result after I painted everything, sealed it up. It turned out really epic man. I love the way the contrast looks. The dry brushing technique really brought out the lava. I think it looks live. It looks like it's glowing red hot lava. And of course this will go on either side. I don't know if it's going to go like, I don't know if it's going to be sitting like this on this side or if it's going to be sitting like this on this side. I guess you can let me know down in the comment section below. Should it be vertical like this or should it be horizontal like that on either side? I don't know. But there's the one rock panel that we have and then of course on our other side we have the same thing which again it is a little bit differently. Lava flowing through the middle, little rock panels on either side. And again, they will be on opposite sides of the stage. But I'm really happy with the way the Hell's Gate stage turned out. Again, I, I thought about adding some stuff. You know, I thought about adding some uh, wooden dowels, like spikes, sticking it into the foam on this side to have like spike sticks sticking up out of the, you know, out of the platform. But I'm not sure if I want to do that just yet. Seeing the stage completely built now, I am really hyped to get started filming. You know, I've never filmed an Elimination Chamber pick fed before. I've only filmed, you know, the action figure match that got, you know, taken down by WWE and so doing a pick fed match like that you know we try to expand every single time get better every single time and that will be no different with Hell's Gate you know uh, I felt like Money in the Bank was better from a match standpoint compared to Blackout Sold Out was a little bit better than Money in the Bank Royal Rumble was a little bit better than Sold Out and so Hell's Gate will be a little bit better than the Royal Rumble and you guys love the Royal Rumble and everything so I, I plan on topping the Royal Rumble and then for our Mania pay-per-view My Damn Nation we plan to top Hell's Gate so you see how a elaborate the Hell's Gate stage is. Just imagine how elaborate the My Damn Nation stage will be. But I think that is pretty much it. I want to get a good shot in here so you guys can see the lava and everything flowing through. You can see the MDT right there. Uh, everything pretty much came out just like the vision, man. Like, I, I literally drew it up and then I just had a concept and I went with it. So seeing it completely brought to life here is very, very nice, man. It just feels good to get put in this work for this Hell's Gate stage and see it brought to life here. Now I can't wait to see it in the arena with everything, you know, the bells and whistles with the arena, with the superstars coming out, with the matches and everything really adding to the arena feel. I did add this black cardboard behind it just to, uh, you know, not just show the backstage area because this is kind of how it'll look as far as it'll be dark back there and then we'll have, you know, the superstars come out and it will be from the side, obviously. We won't be showing it from the front view. You guys will be seeing it from, you know, where the hard cam usually is in the MDT pick fed. So now that Vindication 15 was posted last week, we're obviously working hard on MDT Live episode 15, and that is our last show before Hell's Gate. So once MDT Live episode 15 is posted, Hell's Gate filming will be underway. Again, we'll put the arena tour up, we'll put the preview up, you guys will do your predictions videos, and I will automatically go watch and like and comment on every single predictions video if you make an MDT Hell's Gate predictions videos. Obviously, don't make a predictions video just yet because we have to. We obviously have to, you know, fully announce the match card first, and we don't want to, you know, not have that announced yet. So wait until the MDT Hell's Gate match card is fully announced. We obviously know what the vindication side of the Elimination Chamber looks like now, so that's pretty epic. That match is shaping up. Very very nicely. MDT Lives as well. One more spot remaining on MDT Live side of things. Elite Champion Kenny Omega is set to defend his championship in the Elimination Chamber versus five very worthy opponents. Should be an epic night of freaking action, man, of, among other matches that are on the card that are not quite announced yet. But that is going to do it for the MDT Hell's Gate stage review, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. I would love to know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Which MDT Chamber is going to be better? You think Elite Champion Kenny Omega's Chamber or or MDT Live's Roman Reigns Chamber. Will these men leave Hell's Gate with their championships? We will have to find out at MDT Hell's Gate, guys. But thank you so very much for watching this video. Again, let me know your thoughts down below on the stage. Are you going to be making your own Hell's Gate predictions videos? Let me know down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. 
Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.